Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st of April. Today is Sunday. And don't let the looks of this fool you. It has been pouring down rain all day today. I can see on the back side of that barn that it's... Oh, it's raining on me now. Yeah, it's raining on me right now. Sitting in the sunshine, and it's raining on me. Holy moly. And it's cold. It's only like... 51 or something like out there and the winds are blowing yeah I can feel it sprinkling on me oh yeah there's one of them rogue clouds right up there oh yeah definitely raining on me <laughs> it's been crazy today be sitting there all of a sudden you hear just pounding on the roof all the dogs they're all wanting to sit inside and relax there's our there's our, our rain herd there That's been one of them. Look at this out here. There's the next one coming. They just keep rolling by these big old puffy clouds and go, whoa, woof. Oh, look out. The driveway's already dried out. Yeah, earlier, it was us in there piddling around with something on the porch with Kelly. And, and uh, <laughs> it, was, it was dry, and then it was rainy, and then it was dry, and then it was rainy. What do you think there, Danny boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> Man. I just said, because the wind's been going, I'm just standing here with, <laughs> with my furry mic. Trying to keep all the all the wind out. So I get that transmission together last night after I talked to you guys. And I don't know if it's the the rear gears where the ratio's at or the primary gears that's you know towards the front the input it's got a notch in there somewhere so that well it felt a little notchy by hand so i you know, hooked everything up and i just ran it sitting on a on a stand and it's, it's just it just got this dunk, 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 dunk. it's got this one spot that it that it bites so i'm going go in there and try to determine if it's I'll just disable one of the uh, gears in the back, you know, the, the ratios for the back. Just pull one out, put the cover back on, and uh, see if it's coming f from those gears or the front gears. Those those are, you know, much bigger and smoother. You wouldn't think I've had a problem with that. And if it's from the rear, I'll, I'll put the 20 to 20% uh, 20 ratio in there because it, both of them are a little bit larger just try that out still haven't messed with the tires or anything i didn't turn the vlog live until 4 4 p.m today i just busy goofing off and just enjoying myself messing with kelly she's piddling around with her crafty things old dandy boy wherever i'm at he's got to be at so i'll tinker with that thing right quick and see how that goes I want to show you this. So this is input, you know, it's coming from the engine, spur gear, and down. And the watch, you go along, everything turns nice and smooth. And then all of a sudden, no, now it's not missing the beat. I just kind of, yeah. There it goes again. This is the tight spot. It's full of clunk. And it goes fine, goes fine, goes fine, and all of a sudden it snags. That's just way better than what it was. Maybe I'll just drive it a little bit that way. I haven't taken it out or anything. Put some of these uh, tire inserts in, see what that's like. That could be a whole nightmare in itself. <laughs> One never knows. Looks can be very deceiving. They're about the same size, the stock foams and these funky things. You know, I didn't even realize it, but this is this outer piece is just a facade. It's just a plastic facade. It has the metal, regular metal ring. How Red Cat always does them. There are two, literally two full piece things. So it has the same amount of screws. Remember, I was telling you the other day that only some of these were actually the screws. The rest of them are just molded and things. But 
Anyways, let's try this thing out. See how she fits in there. If it's going to be a fight or it's just going to go in. <laughs> One never knows. So the stock phones. So I was, you know, I told you last night I was worried about them bouncing. Well, if you bounce a stock tire or, you know, the stock foam in there, it makes three bounces. It goes boom, boom, boom. And this one goes, makes three bounces, but it has like three more little mini bounces on it. And my concern is, you know, you get stuck on going up rocks, whatever you ever see the RC cars start to hop. They whop, 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 start to hop. I'm afraid that's just going to make this thing ricochet even more. So I was running it again. It, it just needed some some wearing in, I guess. Seems to be fine now. So we'll go out there and uh, play with it a little bit. See how that all works out. All right. Get a, the cover on there and we'll go out there and play for a little bit. So I'm going to try something here for the first time. Let's see what it looks like to try to film this thing with a 360 camera. See how this works. You have to pardon the, the cutting sound. We did a midnight run to uh, um, Home Depot last night and got Kelly a, a toy for her to play with. <laughs> I don't know how that comes out. But that's with the DJI Mic 2 and the uh, Insta360 mic adapter. So this is the setup the 360 camera and you have this adapter that goes on that the uh, the mic 2 and then this adapter this is the adapter on the side of the camera that I told you is different for every year so if you have the X2 this doesn't work if you have the X4 the new one it doesn't work so you have to go and buy the one specifically for the X4 even though this thing on Amazon says it fits the 3 and 4 they are very incorrect. And then just use a, one of the DJI Mic 2s. It's as simple as that. Read a bunch of reviews. And this thing's uh, she's pretty bad. It's a newer blade as well. It's got that 40 volt battery. She's just been a romp stomping out here. Is it working good for you? Very good. The handle's uh, all cockeyed sideways, so I'll adjust that for her right quick. She goes, I thought something was really wrong with it. <laughs> She's been just too busy chomping at the at the bushes there. I was goofing around. Like I said, I was running it in the house and stuff like that. and I guess my running helped it. I don't really... I'm watching to see what these back wheels are going to do. Because now it's it's got 8% more... Yeah, she's going to stay. But goofing around in the house, it definitely steers better. Because the, there's so much you know, overdrive on the front. I trimmed the fenders a little bit too. It still hits a little bit, but it's nowhere near as bad. <laughs> the tires don't seem to have quite the softness. I mean, I can see some bulge. Excuse me. I can see some bulge going on, but they're, they're definitely not as soft as what they were. I was messing around with the, while well, I still had a stock wheel there. They're definitely a, a little stiffer, but you know, you got way better sidewall control and stuff like that. See the fenders are only hitting every once in a while now. Yeah, the tires definitely have a stiffer feel to them. I didn't go, I think the next one, the next ones are blue foams and they're a stiffer foam. Glad I didn't go with those. This is way too light of a truck. I don't know if this is helping it or hindering it. It's hard to say. <laughs> Probably that saw microphones have a way of picking up the high pitch sounds of that. You guys are probably 
pulling your hair out by now. Oh yeah, you can clearly see the difference. Well, you could before too, but that's awfully steep. We'll go slow, see if we can get her to tip over here a little bit. I love how it just clears everything. There was a run that I used to do over here. Let's just spin her around right here. Come on around, come on gal. I was playing around with the vanquish on this. Oh yeah, this thing just let me know there's an issue there. I don't remember what's on the other side. Maybe nothing. Yeah, there was something. She's a good old gal, this truck. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised how, like, sturdy the tires be, are being. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. They still real, feel really soft, but not quite as soft. But the sidewalls, the, they don't roll over. It's like having dual-stage foams in there, so that's, that's actually really nice. It's real nice. Let me give Kelly a tool. She's she's got several. She's got drills and all kinds of stuff from from Ray Obi. So she's been a fan. In fact, she had one of the old. You remember when they used to be blue, blue with red writing, and almost reminded me of the of the Bosch colors. She had this old drill. She was really upset. It came with two nickel metal batteries, and and they they finally got to a point they they lived their life and they were done. She was quite upset that her drill didn't work anymore. Of course, you go looking for the batteries, they just don't exist. I'm worried about the underdriven rear trying to pass this thing up. We'll take this thing easy here at first. Yeah, she just tries to drag that rear in. She makes it go backwards up a hill real good. <laughs> Definitely lowers the the gearing on it. The, the fronts are faster, or the fronts are stock. It's just the rear got slower, so I literally lowered my gearing. Such a nice truck. Incredibly nice truck. You know what's funny is I haven't played with any of the the TRXMs. I, I build little things and chase everything around in the house in the house with this one. <laughs> I sure enjoy it. I think the only I oh, I hate when you get caught like that. It just drags the wheel along. Can't quite get it to bite. It's just a slippery board. Get that. I'm trying to get that. Well, I can't get past the board. I'm trying to get the left front to grab the concrete up there. I'm thinking of there it goes. I mean, I need to point the camera. I love this old gal. What you doing there, thought you? Huh? Almost set on, oh man, this ground's wet. It's been raining all day. Up oh, there he went. Check it out. See that little friggity frog? Almost set on him. That's gonna be a nice setup. It's kind of a bummer. So when I, I realized that things, uh, it doesn't work. So I have another mic adapter coming. But it's, it's coming from China just like this did, or <laughs> this one was here in the States when I ordered it. Of course, it was almost two years old. Wow, that was me just bumping the controller. Just hope this thing runs through here is good. It had a lot of flex in those tires that would, whoops, 
took it all wrong there. There we go. The flex in those tires helped it bite stuff. But it'll be really nice for the side hill in those. Because this thing here, I have to kind of bite it. Yeah, it still bites just as good. Snag something there. Whoa. <laughs> I'm telling you what, that Kelly, you give her a tool and she loses her mind and she's like gone. I go, just do a little bit. Don't hurt yourself. I tell you one thing, she's been out there a while. She hadn't, hadn't smoked that battery yet. It's only four amps, I think it is, but it's 40 volts. And the reviews I've been reading on it is just fantastic. Your way of getting out of there. See that, how that, that kind of hop? That kind of helps you get over things sometimes, but you don't want it to be excessive. I need to take the Vanquish VRD out every once in a while just to let it know I still love it. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this thing. It's just one of those, it's just like that bike that you have, you know. You don't know why you just want to ride it all the time. You just want, oh, there's our little frickety frog right there. Don't mind us, I won't run you over. <laughs> well, anyway, we're about to lose the light here. I need to go out there and force the woman to stop before she hurts herself and uh, do ourselves a, a goodbye vlog here. Or there's literally no no light left in the day. Well, I had to literally go out there and drag her. She was out on the so street good. cutting out over there. So, Sasha, Sasha, he's trying to dig a hole. She's over digging there. a hole. When she looks at it, it's like what? <laughs> I seen something crawl down there. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, give Mama a tool, and I can't pry her off of it. I know. I'm so, just going. <laughs> oh, I'm on the mission. I checked the, um, the battery and she goes, well, how much does the battery got on there? So well, it's got a little button on the back, you know, like a lot of them do. Yeah, she's flashing on the last bar. I said, you were about done anyway. Yeah. She was out there for a while. That's that's pretty impressive. As that and thing, she's and that, ow, 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 just chomping through stuff out there. Yeah, it's going to look good. <laughs> the handle keeps getting loose and spinning on it. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try the, the plastic one. Maybe it bites a little better or something. Because how she's using it, she doesn't really need that, what they call it, the J-bar or whatever. To, yeah. I figured the steel would hold better and all that, but it just, she ain't got no gription. But uh, probably all the vibrations and stuff. She's, yeah. Sounds like she was cutting stumps out there. <laughs> I was getting them. But anyway, on that, I mean, literally the last part of the day here, mm -hmm. we're going to bid you adieu. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give your thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.